Hello and welcome to the first of the QuickPort tutorials. Our objective is to get you doing real work as quickly as possible. In this series we will use QuickPort to design a steel portal frame to Eurocode. Let's start QuickPort. The setup program will have created this folder on your desktop. Double click to open it and inside you will find QuickPort. This is its introduction form whilst it's a trial copy and continue. And we've loaded QuickPort. Now, this is the screen that you, present, you will be presented with when you first run QuickPort. Usually the easiest way to start inputting a frame is to run Input Wizard. You'll start Input Wizard by clicking here. We're not going to run Input Wizard now. I'm going to cancel out and we'll look at some frames that we've previously input. So I'll click the file open and uh, I think we'll look at this one. Now, this is a two span portal frame as you can see, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about basically how we're going to work on this frame. So this frame would have been created using the input wizard and then selected as the most onerous frame. What you would then do is you would work on this frame using the wizards because that's the easiest way. Under the file menu, you will find QuickPort's wizards. The first that we see here is the load cases and combinations wizard. Load cases and combinations can be a little tricky to set up for Eurocode. They're dead simple with this wizard. You'll fly through it. The next wizard that you would use is a design wizard. The design wizard works across all the ultimate limit state combinations. Um, and will prove the frame for capacity, stability, and even automatically add these purins and rails stays in a uh, optimized pattern, working across all the ultimate limit state combinations give, to give the minimum number of stays. And finally, after that, you'll run the check wizard. And what the check wizard will do, it will just perform a final check on the frame um, and uh, slightly go beyond that and do the second order checks, which usually would be amplified moments or something like that. Once you've run check wizard, at the end of check wizard, it helps you select the printed output and uh, that's a completed frame. Now, when you first look at Input Wizard, you might feel that uh, QuickPort is, uh, only handles a fairly restricted range of geometries and what have you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm very quickly going to show you some of the frames which uh, QuickPort's been used with. Um, hopefully this will allay your fears. Uh, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Um, this is a customer frame. And this is actually the gable end, which he did uh, within QuickPort. As you can see, it's got curved rafters, so it's a fairly unusual frame. And to open another one, um, this again is a customer job. This is a real frame. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, somewhat unusual. Uh, okay, so the next tutorial will be uh, how to run the input wizard. And then we'll move on to the other items in more detail. Thank you for listening.